Hi, in this video I'll show you how to adjust picture controls for accurate image on the TCL TVs from the 2025 lineup. The TV that I've used to analyze colors and picture processing is 55 inch Q7C for the European market. For color and grayscale analysis I've used Portrait Display's Kalman software. Let's start. Before we go to the picture settings menu, let's ensure the TV is working in home mode. To do that we need to access settings menu and you can do it in a couple of ways. There is a settings button on the remote which will show this menu on the right hand side of the screen and here you need to click all settings. In this menu go to system and then to the right scroll all the way until you see advanced settings and here usage mode make sure it is set to home mode. Now that we know the TV is in home mode, let's go to picture settings menu and see which options we have there. So previously I pressed the settings button to see this menu on the screen and then open all settings. But you can also press button with three horizontal lines and you will see this menu at the bottom of the screen. Here you can also open settings but you can also open just picture settings or you can change picture presets right here from this menu. Now let's open picture settings and see which options we have. So first option is picture preset and this is critical that if you want accurate picture you will need to choose one of the following picture presets to get colors and contrast as close as possible to the original signals of the picture that content creators want you to see. For SDR and HDR, my recommendation is that you use either movie or filmmaker mode. For gaming, where you need quick response of the TV screen, use game picture preset. And then for connecting this screen to the computer to use it as a monitor, use PC picture preset. So it's quite straightforward and all of those picture modes are already accurately adjusted by default so you don't need to do any further adjustments if you don't want to. Now I will select filmmaker mode and let's see which picture options we have. In the brightness sub menu you have options to adjust luminance of the screen and here are my values, brightness 100, contrast 100, black level 50, gamma 2.4, automatic HDR conversion is not available for HDR signals, only when viewing SDR, dynamic tone mapping off, dynamic contrast off, black stretch not available, local dimming medium, peak luminance standard, and local contrast off. You also see dynamic brightness not available. Now, which changes you can do? Well, starting with the first option, which is brightness. So this is the maximum brightness of the display. And for HDR, it should be maxed out. However, if you find the image too bright, then you might want to consider light sensor built into the TV. So if I go back, I will show you in this menu under eye health protection, you can enable adaptive brightness. So now under brightness you see brightness was reduced to 17 and there is this leaf icon which shows that ambient light sensor is turned on. But if you want the best brightness, best HDR effects, then turn this control off. And for SDR this value will be much lower. Just consider that. Contrast and black level, it is recommended that you keep at the default. Gamma, my preference is 2.4, which is the closest to the reference EOTF curve. But if you want brighter image, you can go with some of the lower values. There is also 2.6 value available. Now dynamic tone mapping on this TV, I did not enable, but if you have uh, entry level TVs or TVs from TCLP series, then you might want to consider uh, this option, for example, balance setting which should give you brighter image and uh, 
help you get better HDR image out of the TV. Dynamic contrast should be turned off and then local dimming. Uh, between medium and high there is a slight difference but depending on the scene uh, at the end I settled with medium because according to ANSI measurements uh, medium and high achieve same contrast. Peak luminance, now this is where you have flexibility to adjust those bright areas of the picture. And peak luminance has several options, definitely do not use off setting. I would say use standard for watching HDR content during evening or nighttime. And then if you want better HDR effects, consider highlight option. On this specific scene, you don't see much of a difference, only between off and other options. But I'll also show you scene from Total Recall on 4K UHD Blu-ray. There you will see a more significant difference. And I also did measurements in Kalman, so you see how different options lead to different brightness levels, depending on the amount of light on the screen. And you see that highlight and high dynamic have the highest peak brightness. And then local contrast, this is uh, software driven control. Basically with all the adjustments and all the options you have above, no need to use it. Moving on to color, here you can leave everything at default. Very important, color temperature should be set to warm 5. And then if you have calibration equipment, you can use white balance 2 points and 20 points adjustments. And also you can adjust individual colors by going to custom and then you can choose the color you want and adjust its position and intensity. If there is a color which uh, you see coming off too strong from the screen, for example red, then you can go to custom, choose that color and find, find it here and then reduce it to the level you find OK. And then clearly if you have calibration equipment you can verify and do tuning using those controls. Now going to clarity, here we have sharpness for high quality content, keep it at zero, otherwise increase it until you find good sharpness of the image. And then to reduce noise, film grain and so on, use noise reduction. And for digital signals, IPTV and so on, consider digital noise reduction function. To remove banding and posterization from the image, use gradation clear. Otherwise, again, if everything is connected well, if source is good, then keep it turned off. And then only for Dolby Vision, certain presets you have precision detail, which will adjust brightness of uh, bright and dark areas of the image. So you can also consider this option in addition to brightness options available in this submenu. And now I will press play and go to motion submenu. Here I recommend that you set motion clarity to custom with blur reduction at 10 and JADA reduction at 0. This will give you the highest motion resolution for 50 and 60p content while avoiding any soap opera effect for 24p content, which means movies and TV shows. If you want soap opera effect, just increase JADA option to the intensity you want. And related to other options, you can leave them turned off. Now let's see which other options we have here. Picture reset, if you did adjustments and you're not happy with with those adjustments, you can quickly reset all options with picture reset. Apply all picture modes, so we can have picture mode adjusted in one way for all inputs, or if you set to current source, then you are individually controlling that picture mode for that source. Eye health protection, we already seen, there is adaptive brightness option, and blue light filter, maybe during the evening, if you want to reduce the amount of blue, you can do it quickly with this option here. Automatic content recognition will trigger filmmaker mode, but if you have filmmaker mode activated, then no need to use this option. And for 
calibration if you want software to control the TV and do the adjustments there is this sub menu here now quickly let me open all settings menu that we see if there are some other options so under display and sound there is also screen settings here you have auto format and screen mode and you have different options here for example when viewing cinemascope movies you don't want to see black bars above and below picture you can visit this menu and see which option works for you otherwise keep it as it is with overscan either disabled or not activated and then here in the full settings menu there is under channels and inputs external inputs you see for HDMI CC controls you can change the name of individual HDMI input right here uh, for HDMI advanced standard go with on or auto to enable full bandwidth of that port and then specifically for gaming if you want TV to display more than 120 Hertz then enable high frame rate mode right here and with this we've come to the end of this video thank you for watching it as you saw there are many options available in different menus mainly for brightness so TCL is allowing you to do fine tuning of the image specifically for HDR content so you should be able to get satisfactory result uh, but please let me know which TV you're using and which combination of controls uh, works best for you I'll be happy to check out your comments and get back to you so with this I would like to finish this video thank you very much for watching it be sure to check links in the description to visit my store where you can buy PDF documents containing details about each setting for SDR and HDR for this and other TVs. Thank you very much for your support and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Goodbye.